here's my latest project uh, aluminum yeah mainly aluminum CNC machine meant to kind of replace the BF20 or G0704 uh, the BF20 is a capable machine but it doesn't give me the room I need uh, I like to work with uh, wood um, create some some details some parts for furniture and uh, BF20 well, working area is simply too small so I needed uh, something bigger and uh, for that I started building this one or designing I started with it I guess half a year ago or something uh, at the moment this is where I am I've been collecting parts lots of it it's like a giant mechano kit and I made the drawing well you, you've seen it earlier I made it with Fusion 360 very happy with the software I must say um, what can I tell okay yeah, yeah this is something because I like to work with wood a uh, large overlap of the machine in front uh, would enable me to use it like this you've seen the structure these are the plates that sit in front of the machine for uh, for the adjustable bed uh, and some difference different connectors have been used yeah the biggest extrusions are these ones 8160 and uh, to get a cross beam on it on an angle you either need to drill entirely through the 180 millimeters and I didn't really fell for that so I I was glad I found these these are uh, connectors and you basically they're just a collet a threaded collet collar uh, with an MH screw just insert them like this and then you need a a T50 Torx driver just to screw them in and once they're in place you can uh, simply screw them uh, in the cross beam like that so that's one of the connectors I'm using uh, another connector I'm using is for the bed or for the vacuum table something like this I just required uh, milling uh, small hole in the in the profile and it just fits you know, like this and I figured out I could also use a nut in it an M8 nut that's not what I'm going to do I'll use it just like this and uh, slide a few uh, nuts in it and uh, connect it like that using uh, M8 times well, what is it 30 volts or something like that and Another connector I'm using is this one. It's the most simple one. You just uh, for this one you need to drill a hole because in order to uh, to connect it, you just slide it over. slide it over and drill a hole through here to tighten it like that very straightforward and simple uh, these are the motor mounts all the motor mounts I'm using are very much the same so the one on the this is the one for the for the x-axis. These are the ones for the y-axis. I changed a little bit in the design because uh, if I needed to machine this part from one block of aluminum, I would have a huge loss of material. Uh, it's just a waste. So what I did, I changed the design a bit so I could easily just bolt this onto an 8080 here as 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 well. So it's basically, yeah, somewhat compatible with uh, with a different design. Um, these are the supports for uh, for the ball screws. So this one just uh, 
bolts onto it like this. This one just bolts onto it like this and in order to support the ball screw, this is the wrong one but you'll get the idea. And here are the base parts for the for the X carriage and yeah needless to say the Y carriage as well. Uh, just made a small two millimeter here to give it more support. Here you can see it's got a tiny notch. And here is the Z axis. Z axis. It's got all the good bits. This is the best looking part, I think. But uh, I just love how it uh, how it all turned out. So uh, <laughs> kind of happy with it. And here is a dull mistake I made. Here, in order to to make room for the grease nipples, <laughs> I thought I uh, needed uh, to have a notch in the uh, aluminum part, but yeah, completely pointless, because what you can simply do here is drill a tiny 2 millimeter hole and just insert the grease nipple in there. So, okay, lesson learned, I guess. The uh, motor I'm using is this one. This is a square air cooled Chinese spindle using ceramic bearings. Uh, I must admit, I'm, I was very pleased to see the run out because the previous spindle I bought on the BF20 should come with a 100 of a millimeter run out and it came with a few tenths, so it was terrible. I need to regrind the uh, the taper on the inside of the of the collet. And what I also like about this is uh, is the type of plug that's being used. The plug is much more st sturdy than the than a very small uh, XLR type of plug that's used on the on the water cooled. It just tightens in like that. It's uh, very neat. It's not using any connectors now, so it slides in and out very easy. Uh, yeah, like I said, the run out on this one is is. It's perfect. Uh, it's below two thousandths of a millimeter, so I'm very surprised to see it's that good. And the motors I'm using, I've uh, the motors I'm using are servo motors. I do like servo motors because of their uh, silent operation. Normally, a stepper motor you can hear the whine because of the torque dance. Uh, it has, and the servo motors are just silent motors, or more silent at least. And I'm using uh, relative cheap servo motors. I can't remember SMC. What was the brand? It's not. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's a small video of it of a German guy who is. Uh, who has been testing them and he's liking them a lot and he gets with the same yeah with the same pitch of ball screw he gets about 15,000 millimeters per minute uh, running speed so uh, that's very good and what I basically like about it is that it also has got a way way better acceleration than the current machine I'm using uh, yeah so Curious to see how it all falls together. Well, I got something to do now. A few holes to drill. And luckily, I was I already threaded all the needed parts. By the way, threading uh, aluminum with uh, with a tap, I I always reach for the lithium grease, the yellowish grease it, it normal aluminum tends to gum up if you uh, if you reverse the thread from the if you back up the the cutter from the thread and uh, with lithium grease uh, well i let's put it like this with a smaller m3 tab i always manage to break tabs when uh, when when pulling it uh, and with lithium grease uh, it never happened again so 
Let's increase. Yeah. Uh, here are some some parts on uh, where the sliders, uh, proximity sensors. I haven't quite figured out uh, what proximity sensors I'm going to use. So uh, yeah, call me lazy. I didn't. I just add them later. Simple as that. And uh, power switch with uh, some relays. Uh, belts for the drive system using HDD uh, 5M belts. Later I discovered they could incorporate some backlash but I have measured them and I couldn't find any so it should, should be okay but if not I'll, I'll just have to replace them. 15 millimeters wide by the way. And these are the, the pulleys I'm using. I've measured uh, the runout on them and they're fine, but yeah, they, 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 they just pinch the axe from two sides so it always introduces some, uh, some run out. Uh, one interesting thing though, the bearing blocks, well these are the bearing blocks that came with the entire set, but I'm not using them, I'm using the different, uh, these are lar the larger blocks, I'm only using the smaller bearing blocks, these ones. <coughs> But they come with 6001 bearings and they're completely useless. 6001 bearings are uh, not meant for, uh, for axial forces. Uh, so if you look at the bearing blocks, bearing blocks are, uh, like I said, they're using the 6001 and you should use the 7001. Uh, so I made a mistake and ordered 7001 bearings from uh, from a, a cheap uh, cheap company in China. <laughs> yeah, cheap company indeed. Because you know, these these are the bearings I received, and you just need to shim them out. And I was trying to shim them out. I used a, a micrometer and a good old stand to. Uh, to measure them but it's too much of a hassle and later I discovered a supplier on uh, AliExpress AliExpress that uses these and the proper bearings should have these little marks on them indicating they're a matched pair I asked the supplier and he assured me that they were matched and I must say I think they are because they have got no play at all or no play at all doesn't it's not possible but they're almost they got no measurable play and if I press them look they just run with each other the way it should so uh, these are the bearings you should use yeah uh, I got them very cheap I think for nine or ten US dollars uh, a pair well worth investment uh, because if you have backlash on uh, X, X or Y or Z um, you'll notice your parts are uh, not as not as accurate as you have uh, as you've planned uh, and one one other interesting discussion uh, is that the aluminum profiles are actually not very suited for use in CNC machines because they uh, because the way they were produced they always have got some yeah roundness uh, they're not perfect straight. They're not totally perfect straight. There's always something because these beams are uh, are one meter tall. Um, I measured about uh, five hundredths of a millimeter of uh, yeah uh, unstraightness, and uh, I can get away with it. I I, I bought some uh, very very thin uh, sheets that I can put underneath the linear rails, but they're not perfect. So if you're going to use uh, aluminum profiles in a in a very precise machine, or uh, if you, yeah, well, aluminum isn't the right material to use in a very precise machine at all. But okay, that's a different uh, that's a different story. Then you should uh, you should make some uh, reference uh, cuts on it first. So you need to uh, you just need to flatten it with a uh, with a larger, more precise CNC. Yeah, and. Okay, uh, these are the these are the 
the parts for the bed. As you can see, they're pretty beefy. They're about five or six millimeters thick. Yeah, very, uh, very sturdy. These are the ones for the uh, for the y-axis. Uh, these are the supports for the for the bed. Uh, they run across it. And where are they? Oh yeah, here are the smaller supports for the bed. So the bed is kind of beefy and I, I think I need to figure out a way to make the bed easier adjustable in height. <laughs> I'll just have to use, uh, I don't know, some uh, some gas filled springs or something like that because I won't be able to, to lift the bed with, uh, with by, by, by hand.